an error regarding the form of human creation. I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan. Allah caused you to grow from the earth. Then will you return to it, and he will bring you out again. This verse is one that is generally misused by people who espouse the falsehood of evolutionary creation as a supposed justification for their views. Evolutionists interpret the expression caused you to grow from the earth as evidence for a supposed inorganic evolution. The fact is, however, that as indicated in many commentaries and exegetic texts, it actually refers to the creation of the first human being out of the earth. In the verse, Allah compares the creation of a human being from earth to the emergence of a plant from the earth. It is just as easy for Allah to create a human being out of inanimate earth as it is for our Lord to produce a plant from inanimate earth. In short, the verse contains a very wise simile for the creation of human beings from the earth. Hamdi Yazir of El Mali makes the same statement in his commentary. There are two aspects to the verse. The first is that saying that he caused you to grow from the earth means that he produced your father from earth, creating your line by first producing him from the earth. The other is that he created you all from earth, because Allah creates us from the soil and then from mud, from the earth. Omar Nasuhi Balman interprets verses 17 and 18 of Surah Nuh as follows. Consider this, Almighty Allah caused you to grow from the earth. In other words, your first father, the blessed Adam, was created out of earth or brought into bodily form from the essential matter that provides your food. In that way, people have developed, grown and found a natural habitat. Later, that great power will return you to the earth. In other words, when you die, you will be cast into the earth and will again become one with the earth. Later still, he will bring you out of the grave again. These are all signs of the truth. In his commentary, Tabari interprets the verse as meaning, Allah has created you from the soil of the earth. He has brought you into being from nothing. He will later restore you to your original form, in other words, to earth. You will return to the form you had before you were created. When he so wishes, he will bring you forth alive once more. You will be restored to your living state in this world. As can be seen from the commentaries of great Islamic scholars, it is impossible to interpret these verses in such a way as to regard them as evidence for the error of evolutionary creation.